So I'm here touring Bur'a Academy, uh, meeting with uh, some of the administrators here. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Mahmoud Suleiman, and I'm the school vice principal for the past uh, four years. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm Nadine, and I'm the school's president, um, and I have been here for six years now. So overall, can you just give us some basic statistics, how many students go to school here, um, the, the breakdown of male, female, things like that? Mm -hmm. So we started off in 2016 with 15, 50 students for grade 7. And now, uh, starting in September, we will have all grades covered from grade 7 to grade 12. Currently, we have 130 students, but we are actively recruiting right now new students for the next year for 7 and 8th graders. Um, our classrooms have 25 students, not more than 25 students. Some classrooms have less. Um, so the ratio from teachers to students is about 1 to 10. And the ratio of girls to boys, it's about 1 to 10. So, in favor of girls? In favor of boys. Um, oh, boys. <laughs> We're trying to okay. So, you, you mentioned that there is uh, Cisco certification uh, classes that happen throughout kids studying here. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, for 7th and 8th graders, yeah. we kind of introduce them. So, when they come here, we start with the very basic. So, we start, you know, to make them understand how the computer works. Fully certified system. What uh, level is that? I, I know that one of my friends would love it actually. If you watch in Liban, this is your area because it's, it's a Cisco certified. I don't know. What level? For people who actually know what they're talking about. <laughs> so they understand what, what levels we're starting with. Yeah, so, so basically when they graduate, they will be CNNA certified. Okay. So they will go through all the courses. So they will, will have that. Sure. So what, are the, what are you looking into five years from now or so? Well, in five years from now, the great thing is that we currently are building new buildings. We got the USAID ASHA grant. So we're building a new science lab, we're building a library. Um, so we're going to get a new computer lab. We are looking into um, solar energy. So we're really growing. And I think that, um, you know, when we continue to do what we're doing, we hope that we grow exponentially. We hope to get as many students into universities and into scholarships. We also don't want to forget the hands-on skills, um, so we offer a um, program, online tutoring for IT, so that even when the students graduate here, he or she already has some certificates and some skills. Um, and How about any other technical skills, like plumbing or electricity or things like that? Are you at? That is something that we still want to establish, so that's something we want to look into in the future, because we would love to get plumbers, electricians, uh, masons here hands-on skills mm -hmm. because um, you know not everybody wants to go to university and you know there's still money and a need for um, you know great electricians great plumbers here in Somaliland so that's something else that we also do is um, because we want our kids to be engaged in the community so we also do outreach to the villages in the, the orphanage here where our kids get some teaching skills they teach math and English to the kids over there wow so they're already learning how yeah. like exactly. they're doing they're contributing already they before they even finish exactly. wonderful wonderful yeah. Yeah. Power is out now, it's fine. But this is spacious yeah. rooms. Uh, we really like to have the tile so it doesn't get really hot in here. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, it really feels like, you know, very breezy and exactly. enjoyable. We, we temperature. Plan, we, we are planning on planting about trees where we have them. So it feels like really nice classrooms also for the kids in the afternoon. And this is great. A. 
periodic table. Usually it's nicely set up, but we don't need to shut down So how many, typically how many students are in these rooms in, um, in a given day? 20 and 20. Oh, so the class size is not that bad. No. And no. is that a typical? Yeah, author? no more than 20. So you don't have like big picture, big like 100 no. <laughs> to 100, something like that. But that's good. What is the then the student teacher ratio then? Oh, that's really good. It's a mirror image. Oh, I see. So the whole thing was built basically at the same time. Exactly. Or in, oh. So d- how about the land? Was it like owned by other people, uh, donated or like was it? It was donated to the uh, German doctor here, Dr. Ahmed. Uh-huh. Um, he donated the land to us. Oh, okay. So it's basically his land. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the whole thing was built basically at the same time. They donated this land. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Depends on, you know, the season right now, the tomatoes are coming in, the peppers, um, the watermelons. Watermelons. Seven and six watermelons. Wow, is all of that, are, are the students working there? Yeah. Like, yes, they're helping out. Um, you know, that's also part of our... That's really good. And do you have a well here? What's the water source? A yeah. water source. From town, I see. And is that reliable? So, are you getting enough? <laughs> and that's why now we have two tanks on the top of where you get food. Uh-huh. The main entrance. So, we fill up those tanks just in case as a backup plan. And uh, does it rain here? Was it rain like frequency, rainfall? No, just the rainy seasons. And do you collect any rain? No. I mean, water from that? Or no, any plans no, no, no. to do that? So is what what grade levels would that be? Those who are having those kind of projects, like like. Well, he will be grade twelve, but we are open to any students doing any projects. We are very supportive. Whatever they would like to, you know, come up with ideas. Oh wow! And are these for uh, for meat, for eggs, for, for eggs? For eggs. For for eggs. eggs. Yeah. Under that tree. <laughs> Under that tree there. Under that tree. Wow, this is so cool. Are these possibly used in the cafeterias here? Yes, yeah, yes. So, so you're so you're actually using the food that you're growing here. Exactly. Sweet potato, that's my favorite. Yeah, we have a lot of sweet potatoes. Parents come over and sometimes take it from us. Yeah. We, we also have the pomegranate trees over here. Oh, wow. Um, we used to have papaya trees, but they used too much water. Yeah. Of course, I'm the boys. 
<laughs> that's that's true everywhere i guess uh, What is the admissions criteria here? Like, how do people get in? We have a we have an entrance exam where we for math and English, but we're looking more for the for the math part because English we can teach. Yeah. So, Assuming both of you are coming from away somewhere. Yes, I'm from DC. Washington DC. Yes. Oh wow. So what was the adjustment here? <laughs> What is your uh, message to people who are, let's say, maybe they want to come here and teach or contribute in, in some way, but they are worried about the weather, about safety, about what is the, what message or experience, based on your experience you have? And are these buildings now closed or like I can yes, check it out? Yes. Okay. Most of them are closed. I mean, I think um, the... Uh, you can walk in here, but it's kind of dusty. Yeah, it's yeah that's fine. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm used to it. Right. Here's another bomb for the little ones. That you know. I'm, I'm touring Bora Academy uh, right here in the outskirts of the city of Bora. It's, uh, it seems like it is really the, the, the kids here are staying here so it's boarding school full time including their, their living and, and, and room and board and I'm giving a tour by the administrators and I, who are generous for the time. 